Hey, what is up everyone? This is Video Intelligence and welcome to another exciting Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make um, a really cool text effect using Cinema 4D. Um, uh, so this is what we will be recreating today. So um, and let's jump into Cinema 4D and show you how to do that. So uh, the first thing I like to do is go into the render settings uh, if you if you don't have the same uh, workspace just go to uh, this uh, edit render settings uh, button and you should get that so we want to go to the output and uh, we want to set 1920 by 1080 pixels um, this is for HD you can do 720p also so that's what that's all I'm gonna mess with right now so yeah the next thing to do is go into MoGraph and then add a modex. Um, this will take some time to load the fonts and stuff, so uh, don't worry about that. So um, let's uh, type in some text. Uh, I will use just text using caps, capital letters. So. <coughs> Uh, next thing is to change the font a little bit so make sure to use some sensor font with uh, not much of a complexity in it so keep it simple um, I think I'm gonna go with professional this looks kind of professional <laughs> I won't lie so let's make the depth to 90 centimeters uh, this looks good and uh, let's go to caps make sure to have them all set to fillet cap with the one step and one ra centimeters radius so this will just make it look a little better um, I don't know if you can see the difference so if we turn the you can see it's more realistic than it was before uh, somehow so yeah make sure to do this step is really important so the next thing to do is um, uh, you can go to effector and randomize the uh, uh, letters by having this mo mo text selected go into the letters tab then go into mo graph effector and then random and this will randomize the uh, letters in the text so if you like this kind of effect make sure to do it so I'm not gonna randomize it in the x-axis or the y-axis just uh, randomize the depth a little bit I didn't do this step by the way on this tutorial I just made it uh, really uh, kind of straightforward so yeah but I'm gonna do that on this one really like it uh, and if you don't like the way they they are aligning just change the seat real quick and this one randomize it for you so yeah that's one trick on uh, the random effector if you didn't already know it <laughs> so welcome <laughs> so uh, you can also um, play with the rotation the H kind of rotation uh, if you want to I'm not gonna mess with that or I'm um, I can make it like 10 and see how it looks yeah or you can just uh, skip this randomizing process it really isn't important so next thing is to add a cube with a 35 by 35 by 35 centimeters size uh, this will make it uh, a little small but that's what we want let's check the fillet or fillet or whatever make sure to have one on the radius and one on the subdivision and uh, we don't want the one tag so click on it and then hit delete to get rid of it so the next step is to go to MoGraph and then cloner drag the cube object under the cloner object and uh, change the mode to ob not object but grid array as you can see we have these points we can 
mess with the size on the port view or on this uh, control panel right here. So we want uh, to make it fit the whole text like so. We want more than one on the account, more than three. Um, make sure to don't to not make it like too much. Um, so the next step is to um, sorry. So bring it back a little bit and then up. Make it fill the whole text as you can see here. So that's looking pretty awesome in my opinion. So let's go to MoGraph again and make sure you to have the clone object selected to do this step. MoGraph effect turn and random once again. So what we want to randomize is the position, especially on the X axis. So make sure to have the X axis is set to 150 centimeters. The scale, if you want to mess with it, make sure to have the uniform scale select uh, checked and then uh, you can randomize the uh, scale of that. So I'll keep it uh, 0.2. I don't want too much and also the rotation make sure to give random values to all of these I'll just be random with that and uh, there you go uh, everything is set to go all we need now is to add some textures and then we throw away some large room and uh, we're set to go so yeah uh, I don't like the way they uh, they are aligning so let's make sure to change this seed I don't want um, like hidden part of the text I want all the text to be showing and this is um, kind of cool even though there is some cube around here so if you want to really um, be uh, to have full control make sure uh, just go to the cloner press C to make it an editable object and then go to each cube and then you can just delete it but I'm not going to do that uh, I, I still want to have the cloner so I can change the width, the height all that uh, the count I still want to have control of all that so before you uh, change the um, the um, uh, some object to an editable object make sure to to really um, uh, keep that in mind <laughs> anyway so let's uh, start adding some textures we double click on this uh, uh, area which is the um, materials panel let's change the color to um, white we will uh, texture text with the white uh, reflective uh, material so yeah so let's decrease the uh, let's go to reflection check it uh, add a Fresnel texture and then decrease the brightness and the mix strength uh, just make the object reflect that's all so yeah and uh, also by the way uh, we have the, we don't we, we have to uncheck the specular since we don't need it we have uh, we will be um, we will be adding some uh, uh, global illumination uh, lightroom so yeah so um, I did I um, duplicated the uh, material by holding control then drag it to the right uh, let's go to the color and then. Uh, choose some other color I'm not sure what I'm gonna select now maybe this nice sign color uh, it looks nice so let's add it to the cloner object and one more thing if you have we want to have like more than uh, one color on the uh, um, 
cubes that you have uh, you can just duplicate the cube by holding control and drag it up a little bit <coughs> sorry and then duplicate the material and then double click it change the color to anything you like maybe a darker color of the same hue and then add it to the, the second cube add this one to the first cube and there you have a nice kind of gradient uh, I think I'm gonna keep that so let's uh, select everything Control C to copy let's go to our content browser I have some Lightroom setups uh, that I created by myself so these are some uh, Lightrooms that uh, are in the Cinema 4D pack the library file that I uh, uh, uploaded a while ago I put a link in the description so you can download it and use it uh, if not just use some Lightroom from Grayscale Gorilla make sure to have it uh, with a nice uh, white background so there you go so let's double click that and this will open up our um, project file so let's make sure to get rid of the replace me stuff control V to paste what we have um, or what we have uh, copied earlier and uh, this looks uh, pretty good let's zoom in a little bit make sure to have it on the center maybe at a nice angle nice shot render and see how it would look like uh, this will take a little time since we have a uh, global illumination check on the uh, studio that we are working on so don't worry about it and it's done rendering as you can see it looks really awesome in my opinion very professional and um, really realistic render you can see the gradient from uh, warm to cold you can see the reflection very well and um, uh, I think this is all for this tutorial uh, I think I'll make uh, another tutorial about how to how to add some uh, really cool uh, textures inside of Photoshop and make it look a lot better than that so make sure to keep in touch um, uh, again thanks for watching um, Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment and I will see you on another tutorial. So peace.